This tutorial is part of our series of instructional videos on the capabilities and features of Infinity Analyze. This session looks at the tools available to add a bitmap overlay to the live preview and captured images. We also take a look at the grid overlay functions. In this session, the following topics are reviewed. Enable the display of a bitmap overlay. How the overlay files work. Create a bitmap overlay using annotations and using grids and the grid options. We can begin with the file menu where the option to enable the bitmap overlay is located. Selecting the item from the drop-down menu results in the dialog box being presented. Typically the first step is to locate a bitmap file to use. You access the local drive or network folders by clicking on the File button. A warning message is displayed to recommend that the overall dimensions of the bitmap file be kept quite small to minimize any performance impact. Most newer computers can cope with a bitmap that is larger than the recommended dimensions, up to the resolution of the sensor for many camera models. A standard Microsoft file access window appears to navigate to a location where bitmap files are located. These can be located in any convenient location, but Luminera includes several sample bitmaps in a folder called Radicals, found where the Infinity software is installed on your computer. Whether you choose to use an existing bitmap or prepare one of your own design, it is important to understand a few key points about how the bitmap overlay works. Before we proceed, I'm going to select one from a sample here and choose a prepared Luminera logo. So what do we need for this bitmap overlay to work? The file must be a true bitmap in the RGB24 color format. All pixels in the bitmap that are colored white, for example red set to maximum 255, green 255, blue 255, these pixels will be mapped as transparent while all other pixels in the image will be displayed in their native color. If you want your bitmap overlay to include the color white, simply set the red, green, and blue pixel values for those areas to a very high value but not quite maximum. For example, 250, 250, and 250 for the red, green, and blue color values. You can use any image manipulation program to create your own custom bitmap overlays or you can modify the reticles provided by Luminera. Programs such as Microsoft Paint, Adobe Photoshop, and GIMP are just a few that can be used to create any type of bitmap image overlay that's desired. The bitmap overlay can contain text, shapes, logos, arrows, targets, fiducial marks, etc. This particular file that I've chosen is the Luminera logo and we've chosen it as a preview and it's displayed in the upper left corner. Once you've identified this file to load, click on one of the positional radio buttons to orient the bitmap overlay. You can see by clicking on these options I can move my logo image around on the screen. If you want to display a particular date stamp or a project name, simply add it into a bitmap overlay file and it can be applied to each image that is captured on that particular day or on images related to a specific project. You also notice we have options here to apply the bitmap overlay to the live preview and to apply it to capture. You can select to choose either one of those or both. The bitmap overlay file will be displayed here and will be remembered from one session to the next so you don't necessarily have to go back and reload it each time. Keep in mind that larger bitmap files do take longer to upload into memory than smaller ones. Here, a cropping from one of the Luminera supplied reticles has been displayed in the center of the image. And changing my zoom preview to 100%, you can see that the, all the detail from that bitmap overlay is displayed on my image. By going back to the file menu and turning off the options for display on preview, I no longer see the overlay being displayed. With the release of Infinity Analyze 
an option was introduced to be able to generate bitmap overlay files using the annotation capabilities within the program. To create your own bitmap overlay, start by capturing an image. The next step is to create the desired annotation overlay on this image using the operations available in the annotation drop-down menu. In this example, we'll place some text. When you apply text in the annotation menu, you have the options to access a font, choose a particular font, bold, regular, italic, choose a font size, and choose a font display color as well. You also have the choice of the graphics to display. And you can control the background color and a line color around that graphic if you choose, and a number of pixels for the thickness of that line. Now I've got some text displayed on top of my image. Shapes can also be drawn using other annotation functions if desired. You can take advantage of any of these shapes or arrows. Once you've placed the desired annotation on your image, then you can choose from the annotation menu, Convert into Bitmap. You'll notice that an empty appearing image has been generated. This is essentially a blank bitmap file or a bitmap file where all the pixels have been set to pure white with the exception of the overlay text that I had entered. If I now go to my file menu and click Save As, I can create this as my sample project bitmap overlay, be careful to ensure that you choose Windows bitmap as the file type before saving the file name. Now I have created a bitmap and saved it to disk. I no longer need this captured image. And we have this image captured with the text that I've placed over it. If I choose select here, I can move this annotation text around uh, just for illustration purposes and now returning to my live preview window once we've generated the bitmap overlay go back to the file menu and click on bitmap overlay and now click on the file button where we can then select the file that has our sample project bitmap in it and click on the open button once the file's been loaded we can select apply to preview and it appears on our live preview. If we want that sample project ID to appear on our captured images, then we select Apply to Capture, and say OK, and now anytime we capture an image of our samples, we will see that the bitmap overlay has been added automatically into our image. Now if I go back to the original live image and go to bitmap overlay, turn off the live preview, and the capture for the bitmap overlay and now capture another image I can use the grid functions grid options that are available in Infinity Analyze allow me to either specify a grid position the grid use either rectangular or circular or to use a mouse to position the grid if I click on use a mouse I can click the mouse and start dragging and I immediately get a size that corresponds to the distance that I've dragged with the mouse. So I'll pick a fairly large grid here. And if I want that grid spacing to be a specific size, either in pixels or if I've calibrated to a microscope in microns, I can do that. And now my grid is here. Now grids on their own cannot be burned into bitmap overlay images, but if we select to place some other kind of text or line work, any other kind of annotation on here, um, or a micrometer bar and we can position a micrometer bar and as I said I, I'm not calibrated at this particular time however I'll just illustrate positioning 100 uh, micron micrometer bar on here now I've got an annotation that can also appear in my images and I go to annotate and select convert into bitmap and now I have a grid and my micron text that would appear and same technique of file save as and now I can specify grid overlay 
with micrometer. Save that as a bitmap and close that. And now if I want to go back to my panel and select my bitmap overlay, choose my new file that I've saved here, grid overlay with micrometer bitmap and click on open. Wait a few seconds for the load to complete and then click apply to preview and if desired apply to capture. Click OK and now that's in my live preview image. See I can move my image underneath any sample that I want I can place underneath here. Click on the capture button and because I've said apply my bitmap overlay to my captured images, I'm getting my micron scale and the grid overlay. So whether you decide to use a small bitmap overlay or an overlay that matches the full resolution of your sensor, combine the tools available within Infinity Analyze along with your own imagination to create the results you require. Be sure to take a look at the other videos in this series.